Also this weekend, doors open Milwaukee. More than 26,000 people expected to get free behind the scenes tours of dozens of buildings throughout the area. As Katie Crowther shows us, the event is about a lot more than just impressive old architecture. One of the greater purposes of Doors Open Milwaukee is to get people to visit neighborhoods they're maybe unfamiliar with, even hesitant to go to, and hopefully open their minds to new people and places in our community. It's about bridging the history and culture within this area to the rest of Milwaukee. Fatima Laster looked beyond the boarded up windows of the old Johnson Goolsby funeral home. I saw beauty, I saw opportunity, and I saw what would be my new home and workspace. She grew up in this neighborhood, which has one of Milwaukee's highest poverty and unemployment rates. A former banker and construction project manager, Fatima's true love is art and design. So she bought the historic building at Port Washington Avenue and Keefe for $1 and is spending hundreds of thousands to renovate it into the Five Points Artist Gallery and Studios. If artists want to come in and do um, workshops, if schools want to come in and do tours. There will be nine studios for rent, a commercial kitchen for culinary arts, a gift shop and two apartments, one of which she'll live in. Doors Open provides a look at the work she's started and a first chance to bridge the gap. I know there might be a, a natural comfort for what's downtown and other um, faster transforming areas, but um, I wanted to bring the attention over here. For more information on Doors Open Milwaukee and all of the sites you can visit this weekend and what they'll offer, just click on the link to this story at TMJ4.com. In Milwaukee, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. There are gems in every neighborhood yes. of this city. Pretty cool.